Hi guys, in this tutorial we will learn how to connect our Flutter app with Firebase using Firebase CLI. We have this app and we would connect it with Firebase. Let's open the Firebase console and create a new project. Here enter the Firebase project name, then click on the continue button. Then on this screen we can click again on the continue button. Here select the Google Analytics account and click on create project. Now our Firebase project is ready, just click on the Continue button to connect Firebase with our Flutter app. This is the Firebase project landing page where we have the option to connect Firebase with iOS, Android, Web, Unity, and Flutter. We would go with Flutter, let's click on the Flutter logo. Here we have a step-by-step -step process for the connection of Firebase with our Flutter app. First, we would install Firebase CLI, so let's open it in a new tab. Here click on macOS. There are three ways we can install Firebase. The first one is the auto install script, which is through a single command. The second one is to download the macOS Firebase CLI file and add a path. And the third one is through Node.js, where we would need to install Node.js and then run the npm command. We would go with the auto install script, which is easy and takes less time. So let's copy the command and paste it into a new terminal. This would start downloading some files and would take some time, depending on your internet speed. Once the download is complete, it will ask for a password. Enter the password. Now our CLI installation is completed. Next, we have to log into Firebase through the terminal so it can access our Firebase projects. So according to Doc, we would run the Firebase login command and log in through the Gmail account with which our Firebase console is connected, and we have created the project. So let's open and close the terminal and paste the command. It will redirect us to the default browser where we can log in to give access to Firebase. In your case, if it is not opened in the browser where you have logged in that Gmail account, copy the link from the terminal and paste it into the browser. We would skip these as we have already set up Flutter and created the project. Now move forward to the next step. Here we would copy this command and run it in the terminal to active Flutterfire CLI on global. This has given us one warning of the path, so let's copy the path and add it to the path environment file. In Finder, press the Shift command and H and it will open the home directory. Here we'll again press the Shift command and dot. This will show the hidden files. Here find the dot zshrc file and open it. And here on the new line, paste the path. Then we would save the file and close the file. Then we would quit the current terminal and copy the command. Then we would open a new terminal, but CLI is already active, so we would make it deactivate and activate it again. Here would change activate to deactivate and run the command. It would deactivate and to activate again, we would run the activate command again. This would activate CLI and now we wouldn't get any warning. Then would copy the flut fire project configuration command and run it in our flutter project terminal. So let's close and open the VS code. So our command is functional here. It will fetch supported platforms with arrow keys we can select, but still it adds configuration for all supported platforms. I would select Android and press enter. I am getting this issue. If you are also facing it, just follow the steps. Open the terminal and run the sudo gem install Xcode proj. This will install Xcode proj and our issue will be solved. Close the terminal and vs code. Copy the command and we will run it in the project folder terminal again. 
This time, command would run fine and Firebase configuration files would be added to our Flutter project and would give you the app ID for each platform. Then we would add the Firebase core package, so let's copy the name, press Shift Command and P, select dependencies, enter the package name, and press Enter. Here press Enter and from the next step, copy the code and we will add it to the main.dart file. We will add it below the widget flutter binding and then we will import the packages. All are set now. Next, we have to click on the continue to console button and there we will see that our Firebase project is connected to five platforms. Now if we run the code, our code will run without any warning or issues and our flutter app will be connected to Firebase. If you have enjoyed it, please support us and subscribe to our channel.